Welcome back, folks, to another video. We are doing it on Rakdos Midrange and Pioneer. I thought since I, you know, top aided two PTQs in a row and Pioneer got that sweet uh, announcement, I thought I would, uh, you know, run a league with it, see how it goes, and kind of show an updated list of what I would be playing. And before we do anything else, let's thank the patrons Thomas Jens, Erwin Esser, Thomas R. Baruski, Eli. Colin Laneboy and B Dub. Again, if you want to join the Patreon, it's down in the description below. And let's talk about the list. So, what is, you know, why are we playing Rakdos Midrange? Well, first of all, I think it's the best midrange deck in the format. It's a pretty, I would say ubiquitously the best midrange deck. I have been thinking about playing on, you know, trying other, you know, midrange variants. Let me know if you'd like to see those. Preferably, like, Jun Delirium. Obviously, we'll try the Rock out at some point. Kind of, like, kind of start to get back into Pioneer because I've been having a lot of fun with it. It's been a nice break from, you know... Modern's getting a tad bit stale with the, you know, four color piles and all of that and whatnot. So let's let's talk about what is good in this deck. So Bone Crusher Giant, probably the most premium removal spell in the format right now. While it doesn't kill everything, it's just a solid two for one when you get there. Uh Fable of the Kiki or Fable of the Mirror Breaker, this card is fucking insane. If you haven't played this card, it kind of gives me, you know, season pyromancer vibes, but even better because Season Pyromancer in Modern is okay, while in Pioneer this card is insane. So in like all of the matchups where like the problem with the midrange deck is you typically run into the problem of oh we have some you know dead cards so like against Control Fatal pushes suck. Like that's the only card in this deck that literally does nothing. Almost uh, it does something sometimes. Kalidas stuff like that. So cycling stuff away is really great. Uh, it's pretty much like a two for one ninety nine percent of the time, if not a hundred percent of the time. Uh, the, the backside is really good at just, like, pressuring the opponent. Graveyard Trespasser are probably the best threat in the format, I'd say. Just, like, the fact that it's, you know, the ward, if the ward wasn't discard a card, if it was, like, pay five life or something, or something weird, like, I don't know, pay two or something, this card wouldn't be nearly as good. The fact that it's discard a card is insanity. Like, just no matter what, you're gonna get a two for one unless it's a board wipe. And, like, typically against control, you already have a good matchup. You can just, you know... Plop this on the battlefield, play nothing else, have your creature lands go in. And that's partially why this deck is probably the best one in the format. The creature lands are insane. You have two Hive, two Din, two Castle Lockthwain, a Sokazan, and a Takanuma. You have eight effects here. Wait, two, four, six. Yeah, we have eight lands that essentially are spells. So that's really good. We have the, probably one of the best planeswalkers of, you know, uh, maybe of all time. Mean, it's up there for, like, lower power level formats. Chandra is a fucking beast. And in higher power formats, this card's still very good. So the Mirthless has been pretty interesting. The plus one is, you know, a Dark Confidant effect. The minus is, you know, a Vampire Nighthawk. So it just doesn't have the Death Touch, which is, you know, a little sad. But it's still very good. Cletus is just, you know, just a very fine card. Really good against the creature matchups. And then Blood Tithe Harvester kind of has this, you know, Kiki effect where you get to cycle. Kroxa, uh, this isn't the best Kroxa deck in the world. If you're looking for a better Kroxa deck, I would recommend looking somewhere else. Because, like, you don't fill up your graveyard too, too often. It's just kind of like this extra finisher, like the four Planeswalkers. It's kind of like your, your fifth and sixth Planeswalker. And then, obviously, we just have all the best one mana removal and interaction in the format. And into the sideboard, this is the only thing I've really changed in the list in a while. Chandra's Defeat, shout out to Juju Bean. I saw that he ran this, and this card looks really, really sweet. Because one of the bigger problems in the format for this deck is the Sacrifice deck. And Mayhem Devil is a really hard card to beat. Because we don't have many ways to trigger Revolt via Fatal Push. And then, obviously, Sorcery Speed Removal isn't the best. So that's why we've kind of packed in... Four removal spells just for that card. Also, Kolgon's Command in that Sacrifice matchup is very good. Destroying an artifact. And then Duress for, you know, Lotus Breach, or Lo no, Lotus Combo and Control. Damping Sphere just for Lotus. And then Noxious Grass for, like, Winota and the Sacrifice deck. Just as, like, another kill spell. So, anyways, folks, I uh, hope you like, comment, subscribe, like the video, and we will get into the first game. I'll see you all there. We are here for the first match, and we're looking at a... Uh... A sketchy hand, but a hand that I like keeping. Uh, it has turn one discard. It you know it has a lot of you know good plays in it. If we don't hit a land drop, uh, I mean we, we run twenty four lands or twenty three other lands. We have two turns to find it. If we have blood tide harvester resolve, that's just pretty good. All right, and then so there we are. We found a land. Sweet. So lead off on this thoughtsy. See what's going on. It's definitely control and against control. Um. Hmm. 
So Absorb they can't cast, and it's just like the worst card in their hand. So it's probably between Shark Typhoon and Narset, and I just think Narset's just more annoying, so let's just get rid of that card. Like, you could say that Blood Tithe Harvester pressures, pressures Narset, but, you know, it's just going to be a card that's kind of annoying, and I just would rather not have to deal with it later on. And the fact that they played Field Ruins actually really awesome, because that means we're going to be able to resolve this Fable of the Kiki, uh, Fable of the Mirror Breaker, apologies, uh, next turn regardless, because no matter what this Absorb... Oh, did they find a Sensor? Or are they shark Cycling Shark Typhoon for zero? Okay, that's sweet. That's good for us. We don't really care about that one. All right, so second field, not, not that big of a deal. Let's go to attacks here. If they want to kill our Blood Tithe Harvester, they're more than welcome to with the Aganjo. So if they do that, that's pretty cool with me. Like this game is somewhat about, oh, did they not use it? Uh oh, I'm losing track of their hand. I've lost track of their hand, apologies folks. Oh, it's a March. Okay, so they still have Aganjo. Still have Aganjo. A Ganjo, they have three field rounds or just two? Man, I've lost track. It's okay. It's not that big of a deal. Another Blood Tithe Harvester. Yeah, we'll loot. Blood Tithe and a Chandra. Yes, this is exactly why we really, or not a Chandra, we want to resolve a Chandra this turn. Apologies, folks. And we get to even play around Sensor here, which is pretty cool. And like, this is a great example of why this matchup's like pretty free for us. Like, we just kind of. We kind of attack them on so many fronts that it's just hard for them to really do anything. Obviously, their hand was a little awkward, but the second their hand's awkward, we just get to take advantage of it and kind of get to run away with the game. Uh, and then we'll also just play a, a Fable to Kiki here. Don't think there's any real reason not to other than Supreme Verdict, but they're pretty far away from casting Verdict. I mean, I guess they can technically this turn, but... Oh, Sensor. Sure. Again, that's fine. Not that big of a deal. We still have a Planeswalker on the field. We have a Fable. We have a Goblin Shaman that makes a token every turn. We even have a Den a Bugbear activation next turn, which obviously doesn't look that great in the you know <laughs> with with two field runes on the field. But uh, I still think we're in a pretty good spot here. Okay, so this flips. That's cool. Let's. Are there any? There's no five drops in the deck, so let's just start on Astrandra Uptick. Okay, a Mountain. Uh, let's just go to combat here. Pretty cool just attacking. See what happens. The better question is, do we want to shove a Blood Tithe Harvester onto the field? Probably not. Uh, yeah, that's a little weird. Hmm. We're probably playing this land and just using Takanuma this turn. Which I think we want this to be on black. Don't think it's really relevant, but... We'll just, uh, we'll activate Takanuma, probably pick up another Blood Tithe Harvester, fill up the yard for Kroxa, and then we get to Kroxa next turn, and I think, I think we should be in a good spot. If we lose this game, I'd be very surprised. I would be very surprised. I mean, it can't happen, but, alright, we don't need to do anything here. What is this? Is this a March? Okay. That's good. Alright, let's just crack this. We get to buy buy it back with Takanuma, which is pretty cool. Do they have nothing? All right, that's cool. Takanuma, buy back Chandra. I'm like, this is like a good example of what happens when Crux is in your deck. Like, it's again, I said this is not a great Crux deck, but we slowly get to fill up the yard and get to a point where it is kind of a Crux deck. And like, it's it's not the main focus, but it's a pretty goddamn good uh, plan like C against these types of decks, right? Talking about that, we can just probably slam a Blood Tithe Harvester. Okay, don't think we need to play this land. We have so much stuff, and like cycling this for action can be somewhat relevant. Let's see what we get here. Fatal Push. Fatal Push isn't like completely horrible, but we definitely need to be a little bit wary about making sure we don't have a have too much too much too many duds in our hands. Am I missing a basic? This deck typically has three basics. That is like hold up. Two mountains and a swamp. We exiled a, a mountain? When did we exile a mountain? What am I missing? I, I'm not like very like it doesn't really matter, but I'm just kinda curious how we exiled. If someone sees what what I'm missing, I mean I, I acknowledge that I'm probably just being a dope here and missing something but uh what am i missing 
When did we exile that? Or did they exile it? Huh. Wait, and their exile is a... Oh, okay, so they are... So they... Fa they okay, hold up. Let, let's think about this. They marched here. They marched this. Why is this mountain exiled? I genuinely have no clue. I'm probably being stupid, but... Uh... Man, I'm confused. So we just get to go... I'm like, look at this. Having four extra mana this turn is kind of huge. We just get to go Kroxa, and if they counter it, we just get to slam uh, Chandra. I'm still confused why the fuck, how we managed to do that. Absorb. It's fine. Let's go Chandra, uptick, stomp face, I think. <laughs> What am I missing? I'm like super confused. I mean, I, it does not really matter. I'm just really curious what the fuck I missed because I definitely missed something. They did nothing. Cool. Copy. Uh-oh. Four mana. Memory Deluge. Okay. Mm I think that's going to do enough. <laughs> oh, we ticked up with Chandra. That's it. Holy shit. I finally figured it out. I'm sorry. I finally figured it out. Holy Jeebus. This is going to drive me insane if I didn't figure it out. Oh, is this a uh, march? That's pretty good. Okay. Let's well, let's take up Chandra first. See if we find something. No. Four, five, six, five, not six. Apologies. Could have like a verdict here, but even that's not that big of a deal. If they verdict, we just hit a slam trespasser and then, you know. Game is like, game is almost just, I mean, it's over. We are, we're kind of in garbage time. We've been in garbage time, I feel like. But opponent is still, you know, they're still playing. They're still fighting. Teferi, Hero of Dominaria. Are we ticking up with this Teferi? I honestly don't know what their play is here. It might actually be down tick on Kroxa. I guess that's what they actually have to do. But that's that's really not that good. We drew a Trespasser off the top. That's a good one. Exile Deluge. Anything else you want to exile from their bin? I don't think so. Kill Teferi. Leathar. Borg, and we're not going to commit more to the board. We don't really need to. They have to deal with it. I mean, the only the only card that they could probably have is Farewell, and Farewell would maybe keep them in it, but even that seems a little ambitious. All right, so what do we want for this matchup? Uh, triple Duress, Triple K Command, Noxious Grasp, Noxious Grasp, Blood Chief's Thirst Pushes can come out, and so can Kalidus's. I think that's a very clean swippity swap. Um, I think you could reason with uh, Blood Chief's Thirst being better than Noxious Grasp, and I'm not really sure if you'd be right or wrong with that, but I kind of like the instant speed and less versatil versatility, but that that is kind of close. I mean, Dreadboard's still a fine answer to, you know, miscellaneous stuff, but, uh, you know, Blood Chief's Thirst is just, it's sorcery speed, it costs two extra mana, I'm just, I kind of feel like this is, like, this only hits Big Teferi, and I think that, and Wandering Emperor, so, like, it has two targets, uh, but I, I just think the, the instant speech is better. Like, just, that, that's just my thought. If you want to fight me, fight me. Well, we kind of have, like, the same hand, right? <laughs> Doesn't have red mana, uh, but again, like, I'm pretty fine keeping this. It curves out fairly well. I mean... Okay, it's not the best draw in the world, but I think we're gonna save Thoughtseize actually till next turn. Maybe yeah, that's a mistake, but right, there is our land. Yeah, we'll fire off the Thoughtseize now. They could have Dovin's Veto, which is something they bring in typically, because a lot of our big threats are non-creature spells, but we will take advantage of what we know. So we can play around Sensor. And if we don't take Censor, they are pretty much forced to cycle it anyways, because them, you know, it, it's like one of those weird gameplay, at, like, gameplay things. Like, there's, like, they're, I, I'm going to take the, the card that answers my board, or answers a Planeswalker. But, like, if we don't take Censor, they just have to, pretty, they're, like, forced to cycle it, because we know about it. it. It's a really weird play pattern thing, but um, I guess they don't cycle it, which is also fine with me, because then I can just play around it, and I don't really care. But... Uh, typically when it's hard to say why exactly, but when you see it, you just, you know, what's going to happen and you just can play around it. So I, it's like a really weird, but, um, it's just kind of how it is. Like, for example, we, we would, if, if they cycled it, we would have slammed a three drop, but we don't need to do that. So 
We'll just slam our Blood Tithe Harvester and be happy with it. Still not cycling. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, do we want to cycle something here? Probably. Honestly, probably the Hive. The Hive's like super duper awkward. I know it sucks if we don't find a land, but that's a better land. That's a better land. All right, say go. They have a Wandering Emperor here. That would suck, but... Okay, cycling sensor. There it goes. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I should have taken the sensor. It's been pretty awkward, actually. Like, typically I would agree with my line, but seeing the way this game played out, maybe I should have taken the sensor. Mm -hmm. I think mistakes were made. That's okay. That's okay. Or at least, like, forced them to use it, maybe. Could have seen that. I don't know. I think I should have just taken the sensor. Yeah, that's a, that's a bad play. I'm thinking, now that the how the game's played out, I'm more inclined to say that that was a mistake. Okay. So we can cycle probably Blood Tithe. Well, let's see what this is. Destroying everything. That's kind of okay. It's like a one for one. A very, very shitty one for one, but a one for one nonetheless. Again, I'm just going to slam Fable. It's like they spent six mana to kill our Fable to Kiki. That's like just, I think that's just a great example of how good this card is. Okay. This is Exile. Oh, it doesn't hit Planeswalkers. Okay. That's good to know. So their hand is Shark Typhoon Verdict Mystery Card. So we do want to cycle away, I think, these two. Okay, Noxious Grass was a great draw. We'll attack Teferi, see what happens. And we're missing out on a point of damage here, but that's really not that big of a deal. Like, if they want to trade, I'm fine trading. Sure. We get to resolve Dreadbore, resolve Chandra. Yeah. Chandra. Uh, yeah, let's just shock plus two for mana, not use our, not use our treasure just yet. Like, I think we're in a pretty good spot, but activating hall, oops, well, I didn't see that. I forgot about that card, that's okay. Yep, that was a mistake, more mistakes have been made. I'm just being a dope right now. Thoughtseize, Thoughtseize, a farewell, a censor, and a supreme bird. Well, we'll take the farewell, uh, activate good old Den of the Bugbear. Get in there. Get in there, buddy, while we have the opportunity. So, like, this is where, like, you know, having... Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, that's not a bad draw. So, they have Verdict. We know they have Verdict. Mm hmm We know they have Verdict and Sensor. Very awkward. How are we winning this game, I guess, is the real question. I think it's by, maybe just play Trespasser here. See what happens here. Cycling Sensor, okay. Exile, Shark Typhoon, sure. Say go here. Okay, it's definitely gonna be a weird game. They're making a castle, oh no. I thought they were making a castle token. I was like, that's weird. No, they're just killing Din, which makes sense. And then I guess making a Castle Ardenvale token, although I'm pretty sure they're going to have to Verdict here. That's like not a guarantee, but I think it's a pretty good guess that they're going to Verdict. Yeah. So I guess we might as well as copy a Graveyard Trespasser, exile something from their bin. Just doesn't really matter. I mean, we're making game actions that are probably going to have to happen regardless. Heal to the end step here. We get to... Go for a Bone Crusher Giant, little stompity stomp. This game might have slipped away from us, and I think it was just basically my my punt uh, on the sensor. That was just a mistake, and that's okay. We make mistakes, and we learn from them. If they have a counter here, I think this game's over. Yeah, we fucked this game. Yeah, apology, folks. I, I punted. I 100% should have taken the sensor and just pushed the advantage. And instead, I kind of dirtled around and went for the long haul. That's just a mistake that we're going to learn to learn to accept that we made, or I made, but that's okay. Cycling and cycling. Cycle, cycle, cycle. I mean, we still might be in it, but it's definitely going to be a tough one to come back from. Sensor 2, 3. So they have one sensor left in the deck. Uh, I think we should... I think we need a double spell here. Like, I want to play Shandy, but that's okay. Kind of can't afford to, I don't think. And they have a, they have a farewell. We lose, and <laughs> like, 
you gotta accept sometimes that you just lose to certain things. Two farewells are gone, though. I don't think that's realistically a card that's gonna be in their deck. Or more than a two of. If it's more than a two of, I'd be genuinely surprised. That's fine. They're attacking, sure. I think that's interesting that they're going aggressive, quote-unquote. But, you know, to each their own. To each their own. Uh, do we want to cycle here? I don't think we do. I don't think we do. Chandra. So it have to be a counter, right? No. Man. Awkwardness. If they tick up. Maybe that's crazy. Dreadbore. Sure. Resolves. Cool. I'm like, we're fine chumping. Oh, Storm of the Hall Giants. Oh, Hall of the Storm Giants. Not Storm of the Hall Giants. Okay. Like, I don't know who's winning right now. I mean, they have a lot of good draws, right? If they have a Memory Deluge here, they have another Planeswalker. No, neither. Uh, I don't know who's actually winning. It's an interesting game. They're activating Hall? No, yes. No, yes, yes, no. No, yes, yes, no. All right, so we're gonna jump trade. Is it even worth trading? Probably, I, I guess so, right? Yeah, jump trading is probably fine. We just wanna fill up the graveyard. All right, let's start off with the tick up on Chandra. See what we got here. A Kolagon's Commands. That's a good one. I'll make them discard and we'll pick up Bone Crusher. Discards a Ganjo. Interesting. Uh, all right, I'll just play another Harvester here. Oops, can't tap correctly. Harvester. All right, I mean, I don't know if they're going to be able to beat us now. I don't know what their last card in hand is, but I don't think it's very good. It could be the... Is it a Shark Typhoon for one? Okay, no, it's a March. All right, I think that's okay. Like, do we let Chandra go? No, we don't. We protect Chandra at all costs. We'll block here, and then I think we're actually okay. Because now we just get to play Kroxa and have Chandra and have Bone Crusher Giant and have Blood Tithe Harvester. Uh, we might want mana, so let's start off with Kroxine and see what happens. See what their last card in hand is. Is it a counter spell? That'd be pretty good. Or a March, maybe. Supreme Verdict. Okay, we don't care about that. Tick up. Let's get Double Planeswalker on the board. Sorn, down tick. Now we can even trade if we want for. Uh, Hall, we can double block, which I think we're gonna do. Unless they draw instant speed removal, but again, we're gonna let them have it. Drew Island, all right, this game's over. Like, okay, look, we played this game horribly, they were super far ahead, and we still just come out on top. That's kind of like the the way this game rolls. Like, this, this deck is very good against them. I even fucked up this game, like, really bad. But again, this deck is just absurd. Drawing so fucking well. And I think they should be dead here. If they're not, I'd be surprised, but we will. Fun fact, always pay to draw. Tick up. Do we have them dead is the better question. We attack both. They go down to eight. So they're at 10. They go to seven, five. No, they're not dead yet. They're very, very close to being dead. Super close. Wait, hold up. If we go shock they want to shock them Kolagon's command buy it buy back bone crusher hold up we have lethal right they're at five we go Kolagon's command yeah no they are dead okay we found the line hold up Sh oh wait bone crusher doesn't go to the bin fuck god damn it well well we learn learn something new every day don't we you learn something new every single day doesn't have flying right no and I guess we can just play out this Harvester. Upkeep, we're gonna go Shock Discard. The game should be over. I sure hope so. We can make double Castle Tokens, right? And like, even if they aren't dead, <laughs> like just actually just dead, they're damn near close to dead because they're gonna have to sw swing both things at, everything at Chandra to not just die. And I mean, like that's just not a good place to be. What was it? Okay, land, sure. I mean, they're just dead here. There, there is. You're in the abyss here. You, you. Anything they do, they're dead. Yeah. All right. They conceded. That's game one. I'll see you all in match number two. All right, folks. We're here for match number two. I, <laughs> I swear, I always forget it. I'll keep this. This hand's a little weird, but Blood Tithe kind of, you know, brings it all together. 
and uh, that's pretty sweet. So that that's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. Uh oh. Uh oh. This looks like Boros Burn. I don't know this format actually super super well. Uh, I haven't played as much <laughs> as I have of Modern in my life. So oh wait, maybe it's not Mardu Sack. Maybe oh Mardu something. Oh. Uh. Mardu graveyard stuff? I'm not really sure. No. Nope. I have a feeling that no matter what they're on, this card's going to be the best card against them. I just have a feeling. I got a feeling that this card's fucking nuts. It is. This card's absurd. Absurd. Absolutely insane. Just play this card once and you'll realize how good it is. Let's see what this is. Fable of the Kiki. Or Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Table of the Mirror Breaker, yeah. This card is hot. Hot as a uh, hot as it gets, pretty much. Oh, they're on a Parhelion deck. Okay. Uh well, I guess we're just taking Fable number two, I believe. Honestly, probably Deadly Dispute, right? Uh I guess it's the Grease Fang deck, right? Yeah, that's probably what it is. We could take Barhelion, attack, exile it. That's not crazy, but I don't really like that play. I don't really like that play. Take the dispute here. We could just kill this Goblin Shaman by sacking here. I don't think that's worth it, though. I don't think that's worth it. yet. Stitcher Supplier and Land hit the bend. They didn't discard Parhelion, so maybe they're ramping up to Parhelion. <laughs> I really don't know. That'd be kind of interesting. I'll turn off all yields here. Yields to the end step here. I kind of want to cycle one of these red Dreadboars. I don't think Dreadboard's going to be that great. Kind of just want to go minus on this Goblin Shaman with the Shan Shan Shandy. Shandy! Our favorite. Ooh, we're Stomp. Or, oh, that's also good. Uh, Well, I guess we're attacking with big old Graveyard Glutton. <laughs> graveyard Glutton. Our favorite card in the whole world. I like the name of that. Graveyard Glutton gonna be blocking with just stitcher supplier okay lightning axe uh i think we're just gonna play another blood tithe here keep it going keep it at night time i like that it's night parhelion going to the wayside don't grease fang me what does this even do it just creates two four fours which honestly we could probably beat realistically like actually i think we could beat that we just have Dreadbore on one, then Chandra down take the following turn. And if we draw we draw a spell here. Actually, this is pretty good for us. We can just eat this if they don't have Grease Fang. Even if they do, I guess not that big of a deal. Not about yields. Yield to the end step here. Alright, we'll trade. For sure, Aziz. Four shizzles. I don't think we wanna cy cycle anything here. Let's get draw. That was a good one. Alright, still chomping away. Alright, well. We will kill your fable with Shandy, our favorite. Shandy, welcome to the club, BB. Maybe I could have sacked the Blood Tithe Harvester to kill the Voldir and Epicure, just to protect my Chandra no matter what, but that might have been actually the correct play. Another fable, you got it. You got it. Fable push, that's a good one. That's a very, 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 very good one. Oh man, that's also very, 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 very good. Yeah, <laughs> we'll play that one. We'll play that one out. Cletus is pretty sweet. Uh, exile, two things, doesn't really matter. We should probably kill this Voldir and Epicure, actually. Get a Zombone. And then, after this, like, even if they top deck the fucking nuts here with uh, a way to get Parhe Parhelion, stuff like that, into the into the graveyard and have a grease fang we still just win like just actually just win like we can just go push dread boar do that stuff like it'll suck if they have it but like we're really not in that big of a big of a you know problem here not that bad of shape i should say not that big of a problem i don't know what i'm saying but <sighs> we'll trade zombie for thing and now we just get to eat Eat some stuff. Probably want to actually add mana. I think we're going to add mana this turn. Maybe we just want to flood the board here. Yeah, we'll just eat the party early on still. No reason to let them have anything remotely close to, to winning. So we can just go Blood Tithe. Nah, we can tick up here. Yeah, they're just dead. 
They're just dead. What is this? Hakanuma. Milled over another Paryoyan. God damn it. <laughs> damn you! <laughs> I mean, we still have it covered, but with Fatal Push and a Blood Token. But god damn it, dude. They keep finding fucking Paryoyans, man. We've, we've exiled two. This is not fair. See if they found it. See if they got the nuts. Or the, the nuts, in quotations. Uh, so, how do we guarantee them dead? Just discard Bone Crusher. They're there, they're just dead. You're dead. You are dead. You are mad because you are dead. Let's get it. A discard. Discard you. All right. Push. Swing. Lethal. All right. So they're on Grease Fang. Grease Fang is a white creature, correct? So Noxious Grasp seems good. Infernal Grasp seems good. Honestly, K Command seems really good. Blood Chief's Thirst can come out just kind of shitty and slow. Cletus is probably fine. Sorn is probably fine. All of our Bone Crushers are okay. Kind of want to take out Croxa, honestly. I'm not really grinding with them, I don't think. Like, Dreadborn is just kind of weak, too. Like, honestly. Just, like, have these instant speed effects that are just strictly better. At least in this matchup, I should say. I'm like, maybe trying to Cletus, like... We're, we're fine just like kind of going long without Croxa, right? This hand looks pretty sweet. Good crop all yield, yield through the turn, keep. They kept seven as well. Thoughtseize would kind of poke a hole in our hand, but that's okay. I think we want to lead on Thoughtseize. Just seems pretty sweet. Yeah, I'll take Fable of the Kiki. Kiki, do you love me? We're taking all your thingies. And I want you. Ooh, more creatures. More stompity stomps. And like, Colgon's command's pretty sweet, right? We just hold it up. Like, we feel good. We feel good. Uh, yeah, I'll just play lands. I mean, I guess the one concern is we need to not die to something strange. So we can just bone crusher this Voldiran Epicure. Crush its bones. They have a, oh man. They had the uh, sack card, that would've been nutty. I think we take this, mm, no, we don't take the opportunity to play sh Shandy. Shandry, Shandra. Uh, blood Crip, Blood Crip, okay. Oopsies, hold up, turn off all yields. They have four cards still left in hand. Is this grease? Is this the grease ball? Is this the grease ball? Okay, fine. Uh, we get to have some fun by making them discard and destroying Parhelion. So this is why K Command's pretty poggers, and now we get to down tick with Chandra and feel good. If they have a way to return it, we are in trouble, but that's okay. There's only so much you can do, right? Like you can't you can't play around everything forever. Can't play around everything forever. We'll lose to Grease Ball if they have the if they have another one or a way to get it back. Like that's okay. Croxa. Croxa's mm, is a problem. Croxa is a real issue actually. Mm hmm. Yikers. Now they just get to bring it back. That is a problem, folks. We have we have an issue. I guess we can just discard the Chandra play Bone Crusher, shock this when it attacks next turn, and then go for the block with the other Bone Crusher. Oh my, more Bone Crushers. No, no dice. All right. Well, we have a game plan. It's not a good game plan, but it's a game plan. Oh man, okay, yeah, we're done. They got us. Yep. Grease Ball. Grease Ball. All right. The Grease Ball is in there. Mm-hmm. I mean, we just gotta run back. Trespasser is just the card we need to find, right? That card's just absurd. All right, that was tough. That was pretty tough. All right, well, speak of the devil. There's Trespasser. That's the card we need. They have Thoughtseize, Fatal Push, Blood Tithe Harvester. I actually think we take the Thoughtseize. I don't really want them fucking with my hand. We have another Harvester, a Stitcher Supplier, which is fine. <laughs> Motherfucker. Thoughtseize bug! Thoughtseize bug. That's a shame. Yeah, that's a good draw, though. Valdnirin, Epicure. What a shame. <laughs> uh, 
Oh man, no, this is a Blood Tide Harvesters. Apologies, oopsies. Man, what a shame. Stamp, stamp. We're just getting aggressive. I think that's a good way to beat this deck is just kill them before they do anything of relevance. Oh, they milled a Croxa. Jeez, man. That's a shame and a half. Another Bone Crusher. Kind of cool. Probably Fatal Push this. No. Mm -hmm. All right. I mean, there are some problems here, but we might still be okay. The problem is we just can't kill this Croxa right now. Like, honestly, are we discarding Chandra? Probably not. We have two Bone Crushers. We don't need both of them. So their hand, who has a Shock Land. Okay. Mm hmm Yeah, we're kind of in trouble, right? I guess if we draw a land, we're fine. Yeah, if we draw a land, we can go Blood Tithe, down, like, Sack, and then Down Tick with Chandra. But then they just get to do it next turn, so we're kind of in trouble because of that. I mean, well, we might be able to do some stuff. Do some things and stuff. It's not bad. Mm hmm Honestly, I think we just attack. That's just, like, kind of what I feel like we should do. I don't know if that's right, but I do think this is a fine line. I don't know if it's amazing, but it's a line that's kind of given to us because we don't have much to do anyways. So, I mean, we have a few ways to get out of this. This is definitely a problem. We have a bunch of removal spells in the deck, so hopefully we can find that. We can also just, like, kind of try and race Kruxa. It's pretty tough, but it's definitely something you can do. Noxious Grasp, that's not a good one. All right, that's something, I guess. Mm -hmm. Damn you, Kroxa. Damn that Thoughtseize off the top. I think we're winning this game if they didn't th rip that Thoughtseize off the top. Uh, yeah, they kill Chandra. That's okay. Attack for eight. Fable of the Kiki. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's a bunch of blanks, too. Yep, they got us. That was a tough one. Not gonna lie. Tough one. But uh, anyways, I'll see you all in match number three, I think. Yeah. See y'all there. Welcome back, folks. We're up against a Yorion Companion. I mean, I'm going to keep this hand because I think it's fine, but I don't really know what Yorion Companion means. It means black and white. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I don't know what that means, but uh, our hand is serviceable. I don't know what Concealed Courtyard means. Yorion. Mm, interesting. This is, this is one problem with having unfamiliarity with the format. I have zero clue what this means. I'm assuming it's it's vampires. Okay. Uh, we don't have a way to remove that anyways, but uh, let's just play our fable. We're up against vampires. Interesting. So what does this do? Let's, let's read it. Whenever one or more creatures, the two or more higher enter the viewer, roll a card, this ability only triggers once per turn, or once each turn. Okay, seems pretty cool. Huh. Well, are we up against... I don't really know. Yeah, we're going to cycle one of these lands. I don't really want a second one. I guess we're just going to go for it. We're going to lead on attacks here and see what happens. They might have like a f instant speed effect. Okay, it looks like they do. Oh, they have Wandering Emperor. Interesting. You get a 2-2. Two, two. A 2-2. Two, two. And then they get to draw a card. That's actually pretty sweet. And they get the trade. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, hmm. We have a lot of good options here. I think the best option, though, is just to kill this card. Maybe that's wrong, but I have a feeling they're going to down tick again. We can Bone Crusher this next turn. Kind of get that going. I don't know what we're up against. So, again, we're, we're going to be learning. <laughs> this is a learning experience for us. Here's draw a card. Okay. Another welcoming vampire. Okay, another Bone Crusher Giant. Oh man, this is problematic. I think we're just gonna play a Kalidus and kind of just hope that it doesn't die, because the rest of our hand kind of sucks. So just kind of hope it doesn't die. I mean, it could die, but I guess that's not that big of a deal. Next turn, we get to go. There is Portable Holing our Zombie. Sure. Get to double stomp the welcoming vampire, which is good. Okay, they have a blood chief's thirst. All right, that's scary. That is terrifying. Takanoma. So we can actually go Sorn, down tick, or we could go. Hmm, we could go stomp the wandering emperor here. 
play a bone crusher giant or we could just go double stomp and there's a lot of good options here i kind of like the soren one just because it kills here and it saves our stuff for later not sure if this is like the best play in the whole world but and we still get this two three we can double stomp here we can get rid of it like they'll kill our soren but we get to gain two life uh i think it's okay i have a feeling this is a deck that's very good against mid range, but we'll see a portable hole well that's pretty good that is annoying mm -hmm. yeah we need to probably double stomp this then like trespasser it's not bad mm. Ugh. this is like one issue with this deck the removal fucking sucks like it, it doesn't seem like it would but the removal is horrible there is like nothing you can do with this deck to remove CMC three cards. It's just really tough. Looks like another Wandering Emperor. No, it's a Takanuma. They have a Charming Prince. Did they pick up here? Probably Wandering Emperor, I'd assume. That's actually not that big of a deal. Like, yeah, we'll we'll double stomp this now. Stamp, stamp. And then next turn, we just get to, I mean, if they play Wandering Emperor, we just get to Kiki, Copy, Bone Crusher. If they do nothing, we'll just play like a Graveyard Trespasser and say go. Get to Copy one. That'd be cool. At the end step here. Oh, that's another good draw. Trespassing. Let's take out this Welcoming Vampire. I think we're actually in a good spot here. I think we are in an okay spot. Tip to one in my Jordans. In the end step, we get to make a trespasser, and I think we're should be good. Should be good. Sure, make another two two. You got it. You're you're cycling. You know this deck just looks like it's a bunch of shit that just floods the board and should be really good against us. Yeah, that's fine. I don't really want to make a trade. I want to flip two trespassers or have. A bunch of trespassers on the battlefield on the end step here. Fine, Yorion. Okay. Deal. Deal E O. Ooh. It's a piece of candy. Uh alright. So guess we're just gonna start by I think by just attacking this wandering emperor, gaining two. Ecletus. I have to make some blocks that are not the best for them. Like they're gonna probably go block double or chomp maybe yeah that was my guess something like that the dot the block double block makes sense and then we get to go fable into oh maybe we shouldn't have played fable into the the known yorion that was a mistake that was a mistake yeah i shouldn't have played fable into the known yorion i should have played bone crusher giant that turn fuck that's okay shit that's okay okay well it didn't matter they just had another portable hole did not matter. In the end, it didn't even matter. Killing Fable. Alright. This card is really fucking annoying. The fact that it just makes it into three threes. Hmm. What are we drawing here? Is a blank or a good one? It's a blank. Thoughtseize is not a blank, actually. Might seem like a blank. Not a blank. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's a hand opponent. <laughs> that was a hand, lol. <laughs> that was a hand. That was a hand of magical cards. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> Wowzers. Um, wow. That's all I gotta say is just wow. I don't know what to say other than wow. All right, let's take out these Fatal Pushes. They really don't look that good against this deck. And then Croxus seems good. Harvester seems fine. Thotsy seems good. Crusher's fine. Fable's good. K-Command's fine. Cletus is okay. Let's take out a Sorn. Wow. That... Um... That was a hand, folks. That was a hand. All right, folks. Let's get it going. Um, hand's fine. It's nothing special, but I don't mulligan these. I don't mulligan these. Swamp. Zotsies. Smile. Probably taking Fable. I'm assuming you wouldn't take anything else in this hand, but that is an option. 
Look at this car. This car just, I love the art on Bone Crusher Giant. It's actually kind of sweet. If you're here at this point and you think Bone Crusher Giant art's cool, say something. See something, say something. He is a bully. Or it's a bully. I don't know what Bone, Bone Crusher Giant, it might be a girl. I don't know. It's a big, it's a big giant. They have a beard, so I'd assume it's a dude, but I don't know. Just like the art on it's pretty sweet. So they did take Fable. Not a big shock, to be honest. Uh, so I think this is a matchup. Hold up. Oopsies. Turn up all yields. Yield the end step. I think this is a matchup where we're the aggressor and we need to kill them before they kill us. Uh, so that means Bone Crusher Giant and playing out just a raw dogged Bone Crusher Giant. I believe that is the correct case for us to do. And then next turn. Oh, well, that's not bad. If they have Othakaya here, that could suck, but... That's fine. I'd probably play like one or two of them. Never mind. That's just an Othakaya. Sag. Well, we were aggressive. We were trying to be aggressive, folks. I promise. I promise I was trying to be there. Oh my goodness. Okay. I guess we take the Welcoming Vampire. Oh, shit. No, I shouldn't have taken the wel Welcoming Vampire. Apologies. I should have taken the, uh, the dog. The doge. Actually, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it really matters. I think they're they're both fine, but this one lets them draw a card no matter what. All right, give us an untapped land off the top. That'd be cool. Yeah, that's a good one. Bam. Let's get in there. Euphoria. Euphoria. Another doge. All right. No land means we get to activate Den again. I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, that is a land. Okay. That's still fine. More lands for us. Not good. Well, sandbag the land this turn. If they want to block, they can block. We have cards that filter. We have Voldir and Epicure, stuff like that. But they don't have a human. They're at six. All right. Why do I keep saying Voldir and Epicure? There's um, the other one, not Voldir and Epicure. Jesus, I cannot speak today. Just buy Neorion. All right, Noxious Grasp here. Let's go. Blood Chief's Thirst. That's a good one. That should just be lethal next turn. I shouldn't have played the land, fuck. Yes. They just play, no, we're not dead. Oh, they're not dead. They're close to being dead, but we're gonna be at five. We get to Blood Chief's Thirst. We need a threat here. We're in trouble, to say the very least. To say the very least. Otzies, that's a good one. Uh, yeah, take the Wandering Emperor. All right, draw gas. Legion's Landing's not that big of a deal. It's kind of annoying, actually, though. It does mean that they get to, ooh. Hot Mamacita, that is a fucking gas draw. Holy, we'll do that instead this turn. Let's say if they drew a Dire Tactics, you son of a, you son of a, oh, they didn't draw it, okay. I was about to fucking lose my mind if they drew a fucking, uh, if they drew a Dire Tactics, I would have been so sad. Oh man. What, they have it? You have a, oh this is a vampire? Oh, shit. I thought that was a human. Oh my god, they did draw, but it just doesn't matter. Holy. Trial of ambition, you motherfucker. God damn you. God damn it. <laughs> That's like the perfect draw. Fuck. Uh, Sokazan. Sokazan. I don't think we're going to use that just yet. Oh, man. We're trying, folks. It's a tough. I, I have a feeling this is a hard matchup. Like, look at their freaking, like, what are we supposed to do? What are we actually supposed to do? Not really sure. Like, on the draw, this is going to be miserable. I'm surprised we even won that. We just got fortunate that they that wasn't a human. If that was a human, we would have lost on the spot. Um, Sorn, I, I think Sorn just has to come in. Kalidus doesn't really seem that good, actually. Like, they just don't have that many actual creatures. Well, maybe it's fine. Maybe it's just better than, like... Oh, uh, I don't want gold guns. Like Trespasser? No, Trespasser's gas. I don't know. Like, it, it's hard to say. Whatever. It, I don't know what their deck is. I, I understand it's like a, it's a grind soup fest. It's the, it's the deck that's supposed to shit on all slow dirtly decks. It's kind of like Niv, right? It's just like kind of shitty, but it gets there because you kind of can't do anything against it sometimes. I think we put back the Haunted Ridge. Yeah. Dreadbore. It's reasonable draw. Reasonable draw. Okay. Let's 
Thoughtseize. Uh, D Spark is actually really fucking annoying. Um, wow, that's really good. I think we actually just take the D Spark. It's like such a clean answer to what we're doing. Yeah, take the D Spark. Well, no, I'm gonna take the Welcoming Vampire, whatever the heck this is. D Spark's annoying, but it's not that big of a deal. We can play around it, right? Field Courtyard, gotcha. That was a good draw. That was a gas draw. Talk about the good draws. Talk about the gassy gas. That was a pretty gas draw. Gassing it up, folks. Ugh, man. Ugh. Blood Chief's Thirst. Crack, crack. Another hive. Holy Jeebus. Uh, what's been Herb or Kickman? Draw that, sure. Well, we didn't find a land, but Herb or really wouldn't help us here, so... The only thing that helps is kicking Blood Chief's Thirst, but whatever. Shattered Sanctum. Huge Noxious Grasp. Jesus Christ. Yes. Blood Chief's Thirst. K Command. <laughs> Second verse, same as the first. Fucking Christ, man. Go! I choose you! <laughs> Jesus Louise. <laughs> How many fables can we find? Give us fucking all the goddamn fables, man. I mean, they're really good. I'm not complaining, but... Uh, oh my god. Do we even want to get rid of anything? I don't think we do. Well, no, I'm not going to. It's kind of weird, but please. Let's go. I'm attacking with both. I don't care. What's this? Oh. Omen of the sun? Uh, sure. Yes, I don't know. I guess we're in a Noxious Grass if they double block here. You sure? Guess. I kind of like keeping this around. Sure. Next turn we get to just ramp like fucking crazy. That's pretty sweet. What the hell is their hand? Takanuma and a bunch of other stuff. Thoughtsies. All right. Probably taking Dreadbore, I would assume, right? I mean, honestly, our hand's really good. Yeah, I mean, taking Dreadboar kind of makes the most sense than just slamming Yorion. We just sacrifice one of the Fables. Man, dude, this is going to be a hard game to win, though. Like, still, this this deck just is kind of, like... It, it's kind of like the deck that you kind of just dread to play against as uh, mid-range, I think. Hello, land, finally, Poggers. Uh, Alright, well, guess we're playing Sorn. Down ticking. Same go. We have to despark it. Fine. Oh, mother trials. Uh, I think we get rid of our goblin shaman now. Despark Sorn. I think I would have attacked first, but it's okay. Yeah, I would have. I would have attacked first. I think this is a weird play. Lands are cool. Lands are nice, honestly. Welcome me, vampire. Done. All right. Back with my vampire. Uh, I mean, I have a feeling they're just kind of fucked now, but not a guarantee. They don't cast anything, they're kind of fucked. Oh yeah, they are kind of shit out of luck at this point. Just gonna have three four fours coming in. Okay, Sherzies. Taking all of the copies. All right, sure, get rid of your yard. Having fun, aren't you? Ooh, second Chandra. Shaking Chandra's not bad. Now we can kill Yorion if they block. They don't. All right. Fine. Cool with me. All right. Turn it to nighttime. Attacking. Oh. Do they have a... Oh, God. They drew Charming Prince. Fucking titters, dude. I guess that's not really that bad. Like, honestly. It's not that big of a deal. It's just kind of annoying. Yeah, we can just copy this Graveyard Glutton twice. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, I guess the problem is they just get to loop this. I oh, don't know. We're like so fucked now. And we took out Fatal Push. So we need a way to kill. So if we draw a land, we get to. Yeah, this is okay. Let them bounce their stuff. One, two, two. Oh, God. Yeah, we're in trouble. Oh, okay. Wait, it doesn't come back yet. That's good. So it's active player, non active player. I don't know how that works really. Honestly, I don't know how magic works, but we might be okay. We might need to uh, copy these now and push lethal. Ooh, well, 
that that that's also good yep that that was the best draw possible talk about best possible yep these are some removal spells how do you like them remove you uh attacking and removing is kind of like the same thing so let's just attack all right well combat's getting kind of crazy but i think they're gonna have to block some things i think our triggers go on the stack first i don't know though someone well we're gonna figure out if our if our stack if our stuff goes on the on the on the stack first then we're good okay fuck yes let's go so now we're gonna win i think if it was the other way around we might have been in trouble but this is really good for us because this means that we can sacrifice our copies all right what a swingy game swingy game of magic the gathering let's see what they do here with their scry scry is one to the top probably orion i'd assume all right go ahead we also cycle a blood token here uh-oh what's this oath of kaya it's not that good what are we killing a fable I'm guessing it's a fable yeah i mean it makes sense makes sense chandra Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. another trespasser god damn dude this card's fucking insane cards nutters well we ended up getting there surprisingly so we're gonna kill this charming prince because fuck that card uh play so Kinzon, play out uh actually i don't want a double spell yeah that was a mistake i shouldn't have played out so Kinzon. it's okay wait do we not have a creature in the pen did we get exiled man i feel like i just don't pay attention somehow our card got exiled they're gonna quad block might be a quad block honestly no kind of smart but also could have seen it could have seen it making sense. Uh, nah, let's play out our graveyard trespasser. I thought we had a trespasser that died. No, we had a fable that died. Apologies, that's what I'm missing. I was like, what? What happened here? Sacking things, sacking things. What are we putting on top? Man, this has been a long grind game. Didn't think it was gonna take this long to play against them, but here we are. Probably need to copy something here if it's a Yorion. It looks like a Yorion. A oh, Blood Chief's Thirst. Big deal. I guess we just let it go, right? I don't really want to copy anything here. Uh, if you attack Chandra, you die. All right? Three, six, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. All right. If you don't attack Chandra, are you dead as well? I'm not sure about that one. No, they're definitely not. I'm not going to try and calculate math. I'm not going to do math things. All right. <laughs> Nothing to exile. So their exile is huge. Uh, is it worth running Bone Crusher out and casting it this turn? Oh, they're double blocking? Oh, okay. Stop one of them. So I'm assuming the way they get out of this is with Aeorion. That would be my guess. That is their only draw, I would assume. And I'm not even sure if that's good enough. It kills two creatures. Yeah, I don't really think Yorion would be good enough. They'd probably need like a board wipe. And even that's probably not good enough. They have nothing. They could have Settle the Wreckage. <laughs> am, I gonna, am I gonna get fucking got by Settle the Wreckage? Probably. Let's get got by it. Let's get got by Settle the Wreckage. Why not? Um... Yeah, they conceded. All right, folks. We're three or two, one. Let's go. See you all in match number four. We are here for match number three, and I might be a little bit out of breath. I just got back from basketball, so uh, hopefully hopefully, it's all good. But uh, this hand's perfectly fine, so we're going to keep it. And they thought he's sad. Kind of curious what this is. This might be the uh, the deck we played earlier, the uh, Mardu Grease Fang deck, but we'll see. They took Fable of the Kiki. Hey, ho, hello there. Now we get to know what we're up against. Thoughtseize bug. Um, huh. I guess... I guess we take Crocs? guess we take Crocs. Uh, I mean, taking Sky Ships, not that great. So, I'm like, that doesn't kill anything we have, so I don't really care. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know. Here we are. Here we are. They're probably going to discard the sh... No, they don't discard ship. All right, so we know their entire hand. Cool. 
<sighs> we know everything. That's pretty pog champ. Pretty pog champ. Ooh, Sorn off the top. We're gonna play this on black then, because I'd rather cast Sorn than have double red for whatever reason. So hopefully draw a land next turn or a spell that helps, you know, progress our boards in some manner. What is this? Uh oh. Okay. If this creature would die, exile it? Interesting. That's fine. It's very interesting. <laughs> that that was a weird turn. I I guess that's okay for them. It's nothing like special, but it's definitely a play. All right, the ship is in. I don't think we want to crack anything just yet. Well, should have, should have, could have, woulda. Next turn we get to cast a Croxa, so that's pretty cool. Nothing from the opponent. That's good for us. Two, three, four, five. It's interesting to think about, like this, like I, in the intro, I talked about how Kroxa is really not that great in this deck, and in these like three, four games, the Kroxa has been like the best card multiple times, which is kind of funny. The top deck of Grease Fang. Oh my God, I would say that would be big problems. Okay, Fable. That's okay. Oh. <laughs> That's a good draw. That was a good draw. Uh oh, they're blocking. Wowzers. Alright. We will uh eat your Parhelion, I guess. Don't really want to uh, don't really want that coming back with Grease Fang. So I mean, based on the first time we played this deck, it was the only card we cared about was uh Croxa and grease fang so we kind of just need trespasser trespasser is our best card in this matchup and uh i think that's pretty obvious so hopefully <laughs> speak of good that's another one so let's get in there exile the, ca uh, the flashback card don't know what this is called can't stay away and i guess we're gonna cast a sorn and just tick up or you could down tick now let's tick up our land drop that's pretty sweet now we're presenting lethal with din that's pretty awesome actually i guess not with uh with fable flipping they go for a thought seize and concede well makes sense honestly don't think they're winning all right so colgon's clan was good grasp and infernal uh both <laughs> well both grasps I, I just realized that's double grasp uh blood juice thirst seems bad i think fatal push is better than i kind of gave it credits and then Kalidus doesn't seem that great. Bone Crusher Giant honestly might be a trim here. Like it's a fine card here, but it's nothing special. Like maybe one or two. It really just doesn't kill that much. I'm gonna trim down to one. Like it's pretty hard for me to trim this card, but I think this is a matchup where it just doesn't do anything. All right, now they have Blood Tithe Harvester, but I don't think that's the card. Like those aren't the cards we care about in this matchup. So I'm pretty fine just, like, this This is a really good hand. It has Trespasser, Thoughtseize, uh, a creature land. Kind of exactly what we're looking for. Boys on the hmm, on you shall leave to. Uh, let's play tap land here. Thoughtseize next turn. Thoughtseize with Den of the Bugbears, our land drop. Oh, well, there goes our Graveyard Trespasser. Card is the best card in the deck by far against them, I think. If they know the matchup, I'd be taking it. Trespasser makes sense. Castle Lockdown, not a bad one. Oh man, they just have double Fable. That's so gross. Oh, that's so good against us. Oh, man, that's sad. All right. Well, it's not a bad one. Push that one out of here. So we know their hand is still deadly dispute in the land. All right. Well, our hand is nothing. Our hand has been picked apart. So the last card in hand is a deadly dispute. Woo. Woo, doggy, woo. That was a fucking draw. That was a draw. We are so not lucky, definitely. Totally not lucky. Do, 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 do. <laughs> that was like the perfect draw. We'll kill that. They'll, you know, deadly dispute it. That's fine. We will get in there with our din. If they have a kill spell for it, that is fine. No kill spell. Poggers. So this is looking pretty good for us. I mean, obviously we top decked pretty well, which tends to help, but uh, I mean, we, we also did draw quite a few lands. It's not like we only drew well. I'm not gonna say that we didn't draw well because we did draw well, but 
it wasn't like some god tier luck um well that was pretty good uh return a creature kill voldaren epicure all right then they have conceded the game i'll see you all in the fifth and final match we are here for the final match let's go hands cracked let's go <laughs> i'm hyping myself up i am hyped lead on mountain because we're gonna hold takanuma for later let's get it let's get it all right, let's see what we're up against here. Ooh, a stomping ground. Don't really know what that means, but since we don't have another land drop, we'll play the Harvester, cycle away this Kroxa probably next turn, get some stuff going. God, this Kroxa, like, I was thinking about cutting this card before the League, and it has felt beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, is this a Hexproof creature? Hmm, can't kill that one. Sad. Sniff sniff. Can't kill that one. Well, we found a land drop. Uh, I still feel like I want to cycle this Croxa. Den of the Bugbear. Sure. Not really sure what's going on here from the opponent. It's definitely a creature matchup, that is for sure. Is this Winota, maybe? Could be Winota. Mm hmm. Draw our own Fable. Well, in that case, we're going to play that in Blood Chiefs There's this. Mm -mm. Not going to lie, uh, Paradise Druid in Winota would be pretty smart, but I'm not even certain this is Winota. I would, I would highly doubt this isn't Winota, but uh, there's a chance it's not. Okay, no, it's, it's, it's Winota. Apologies. We have, we have figured it out, folks. They're just slamming a Winota. It's a chariot. Okay, it's fine. That is fine. Do we want to sacrifice anything? Um, no. Or discard anything? I don't think so. No. So let's go to combat with our shaman here and see if we get to make a fun play here. I guess we're attacking with both, right? So we get to make a treasure here. Uh, if they crew, oh, they don't crew with chariot. Interesting. Interesting. I think we still just go Kalidas here. I'm definitely concerned that we're just going to lose this game to a Winota, but post or pre board, it's kind of tough to beat Winota because they just have a bunch of like are we, our removal spells just don't really line up very well against Winota. But after after the fact, it gets a lot better. Yeah, like we're we're just not winning here. Uh, we could kill a cat token, but like let's let's just let him go. Just let him run with it. See how bad it is. Yep. With Kovalar. That's scary. Like for them. Okay, another one, Noda. Okay, we get a token. Honestly, we might be able to win this game if they don't hit well here. Another Tovalar. Uh, okay. So, got a block here. We're taking 4, 10, 16, 22. Hold up. We might need to block differently. We block here. We're at 21. We're taking 4, 8, plus 12, 24. So if we block like this, then we're okay. We can stomp this. Um, we might be able to make it out of this. It's going to be pretty tough, but I think we... Are we dead? I don't know. Let's go to damage. We're at 3. Okay. Stomp the Kiki. Graveyard Trespasser. Mm -hmm. Man... We're just gonna come short of being able to stabilize here, but it's not a guarantee. We might be able to stabilize to go. I mean, their attacks really aren't that great. I mean, our attacks are abysmal, but it's a chance if their hands like literal nothing that we're not dead. This is why, like, our removal spells are pretty bad. That's that's just brutally honest. Our, our removal spells suck. So uh, that, that's probably us dead. And we're not gonna be able to gain three uh, they have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine attackers or one, two, three, four, five, six blockers. Uh, yeah, we're dead. I mean, we'll see. They swing out, we're dead. But, I mean, are we dead? Uh, we're not winning at the bare minimum, that's for sure. We could just not be dead this turn, but we're definitely not winning here. The the Brutal Cathar was actually kind of a problem. All right, so we have a, quite a few things we have Chandra's Defeats, we have all these removal spells to bring in. 
Uh, cards that are not particularly strong in this matchup are Dreadbore. Honestly, the Sorcery Speed removal spells are very shit. So we just got to get them out of here. And then uh, Sorn is not great. Kalidus can trim to one or zero. Uh, Croxa can come out. And then let's look at our curve here. So I haven't uh, changed everything up here. Fable of the Kiki is still pretty decent. Uh, say that Harvester. I think that's fine. All right. Uh, hand's good. I mean, this is what we come to he come to keep here. So let's see what their hands looking like. Elvish Mystic, Spellbinder. Well, oh, we have a Mystic. Our hand's not very very good at all. So we might be able to take this one down. It's definitely easier to take down the first game post board. It's always it's always harder to take down the second and the third, or the the third, the first and the third. So it's kind of like uh, Tron and Modern, right? You can almost never win the first game, but after that, you have a fighting chance. What did we draw? Prosperous and Keeper. Damn you! Damn you! That was a very good draw. So now we have to. Hmm. Now we're almost forced to affect the board. We could honestly go Blood Tithe, Kill, Fable. I actually don't hate that. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm not saying this is like the absolute correct play, but it's the play that I'm gonna try and see if it's good. Because if they play Winota next turn, we can Chandra down tick. If they play Spellbinder, no matter what our, the card they exile can answer, uh, we can answer the Winota next turn regardless. Oh, they just fucking ripped a chariot instead. God damn you. Ugh, that's so, that's so grody. Mm, that is a bit gross. I mean, we're not doing anything here. God, that was such a good draw from them. Uh, this, these are the problems with the Winota deck. You can have a good matchup against them, but sometimes they just like draw this stuff and not much you can do about it. Like, here we are. We're just going to probably just get pooped on by the chariot here, and there's, like, almost nothing we can do about it. We can, like, double block it next turn, but that's not very uh, advantageous at all. So, kill that. guess the good news is they just don't really have the best attacks, but, yeah. There goes our Chandra. Chandra! I mean... This is the reason to play this deck. You have a good matchup, but sometimes you just lose. And I think we're gonna be uh, losing this one just like based on the way this game's going. So we're gonna have the double block. Like we literally don't have any other option because Chariot's gonna run over the game if we don't. So we double block here. They're gonna kill our Graveyard Trespasser and then hopefully somehow we can stabilize this game. Uh, it would involve quite a bit of help, but I mean, it's not impossible. That's, that's a card that can give us some help. Uh, are we attacking? Probably not. I don't really see the point in attacking. Because once we flip this... Well, I guess we can attack with one of them. Yeah, we should attack here. I should have I should have attacked first, to be honest. Not show them what we drew. They probably block, but yeah. I think that's a reasonable play by them. Honestly, that isn't that reasonable. I think, I think you just take the hit. Uh, we kind of can't block this turn. It's a little awkward, but... It just doesn't really help us. Okay, the last card's a land. Ooh, cool guns man. That's a that's a heater. That's a heater. Uh that's a really good one. Alright. So I guess we attack here. And then we're gonna Colagon's command the spellbinder. Probably trade. No, oh, eh, I don't know, that's kinda awkward. I don't know if they want to trade. No, they don't. So let's I mean we know their last card in hand is a land. So there's no real reason to make them discard. All right. Well, if they draw a Winota, we die. But that's kind of how the deck. <laughs> it's kind of how the deck operates, right? They draw a Winota, we're dead. They draw a Tovalar, we're also dead. Them playing the land makes me think they drew Tovalar, but maybe they didn't. No, they did not. Okay, that is good. Uh, so we copy here. Eat two creatures actually i probably should have cycled first with this blood token that was a mistake do another trespasser yeah i think i would have got, rather oh i can still get that down yeah we'll attack with both here eat blood tide harvester chariots okay 
trigger and like we're fine with them trading away their board to kill the glutton whatever it's called because that minimizes the chances that a tovalar gets them back in the game they're just chump blocking that doesn't make any sense to me uh all right well i think we've got this one chump block doesn't really make sense i feel like you either try and trade or just let it let the let the hits come in but i think we got this one even even a even a Winota at that point would have been kind of hard to come back with. Um, all right. <sighs> Croxa on the draw is actually a little bit more enticing. I don't think we need Kalidas. So is Dreadbore. Like, these cards are just, like, better on the draw. Uh, I don't want to, like, get rid of Thoughtseizes, but, like, they're still good. I'm going to try it. I'm not saying this is the right play. I'm just going to get rid of our Thoughtseizes. I know... I know this is probably wrong, but we're gonna go with it. All right, let's look at our starter. Starter's good. Doesn't have any threats, but we can slow them down. We have an answer for Winota. We have an answer, uh, a semi-answer to Chariot. So I think this is a fine hand to keep. Push the elf. Trust me, always push the elf. That is the truth. <laughs> there are some things in this in this world where you're like, yeah, maybe it's right, maybe it's wrong. That's that's something that trust me, it's it's right. It's right. You you gotta they can go turn two fable, they can go uh I mean anything else really isn't that scary, but turn two fable is like the the real problematic card. Spellbinder, sure. Like like that. That's a fine card. I don't really care if they take anything here. Uh turn off all yields. You might kill it. You might grab we can just Colgon's command it. I don't really wanna kill it with anything else. Yeah, we'll just Colgon's Command to discard. There's no reason to, like, grasp it. You obviously can't, uh... uh Grasping's the only thing we could do. But obviously there's... I think they're gonna take a Colgon's Command here. Takes the Grasp. Interesting. Out of, like, all the takes, I think that'd be the least enticing, actually. So, kind of feel like that's interesting. But we're gonna do it now before they have more decisions. Like, th before they have more cards in hand. I don't really think it's... Discards Temple Garden, okay. Mystic, tapped lands. I'm um, smelling a Tovalar, so I'm gonna go, oh, nope, that is not what I meant to do, but kind of smelling Tovalar here. I obviously should have played uh, Den of the Bugbear here, because next turn if they did nothing, we could have activated Den, and that would have been like a really good opportunity for us, but I misclicked on the Blood, Blood Crypt. That's the uh, MTGO punts in chat. Oh, I'm not streaming, but this is this is a, a YouTube exclusive video, by the way. If you are here, it's just for you all. If you're at this point, it's just for you all. Uh, let's see. You can still activate Hive, but like that's kind of not that enticing. It'll suck if they have. See, god dang it, man. If we would have, well, okay. Life is solved. Never mind. We just draw the good ones off the top, and life is much easier. It's not like they have instant speed spells. So, I think this game's over. Come back from a very close game one, or a close game two, and start kicking ass. Feels good. I'm like 99% sure they just have a Tovalar in hand, and if that is the card that we're worried about, I think we're winning this game. Because <sighs> we can go Infernal Grasp it. Yeah, it's like I mean it's a Tovalar. Like that we could we could have uh we kind of guessed it from the get go. Kinda of guessed it from the get go. Dreadbore was a good draw. Noxious grass, also a good draw. We just get to Chandra Ultimate next turn. Yeah. Okay. Unless they have a Winota No, even if they have a Winota, I don't know what they could have. Well, not to be terrifying, but they're still just dead. Yeah. Chandra's defeat. Okay. Both at our girl. Now you're dead, I believe. And we could just draw nothing, but oh, well, that, that does it. That does it exactly. All right. Well, we take take the game down in a, uh, in a great fashion with a Chandra ultimate. But uh, yeah, let's talk about uh let's talk about this this deck uh i think so we lost to the grease fang deck and i think it's just because of my unfamiliarity with that deck but uh i mean realistically the deck felt great 
I think the sideboard changes were pretty pretty cool. We kind of got the full scope of everything. We played against Winota, Grease Fang. Uh, we didn't play against Phoenix or Lotus. So those are kind of... Lotus is a pretty tough matchup. The Damping Series and the sideboard do help a lot. So the Duresses and stuff. But that that is a hard matchup. And... We also played against Blue White, what did we play, Winota, Grease Fang, and like a, a value soup deck, a Yorion soup deck. So pretty pretty interesting, pretty, you know, diverse stuff. Let's open the chest for the YouTube people, if you know the chesties. Let's see if we get anything fun in here. Uh, I've never seen this card, but that's cool. I haven't seen this card in a while. And then a Valakut Awakening and a Satessant Champion. Great cards to have. And yeah. Deck's really good. I think if you want to play a mid-range deck, this is the deck for you. If you're more of a competitive player, uh, let me also know if you're still here, if you want to see more Pioneer content. I know with the new PTQ being announced and everything, that's definitely something that people might be more uh, interested in. And I am definitely uh, trying to explore this format and would have a, I would have a blast personally, just, you know, playing, brewing, and, you know, having it. Maybe not every video, obviously. I want to play modern still. I love modern uh, it's definitely getting a little stale and like having some diversity is pretty awesome always like you you don't always want to see you know the same thing over and over again so again comment down below please if you want to see some more pioneer content uh i'm definitely going to start doing the challenges on the weekend as well i'm going to do pioneer and modern so you'll be able to see both of those uh, because they're at different times it might be a little hard to do both but um, i believe that I'll, I'll be able to record and stream both if you're interested in that, check out the streaming stuff, the Twitch, all the stuff down below if you want to see any of that. Would really appreciate it. But anyways, folks, thank you very much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.